Hello and welcome to this video. I am Bhushan Desai from Smart Reporting Development Team. This video is about understanding one of the Smart Reporting Deployment where your reports and dashboards data will be fetched from replicated database. Just imagine there could be many data intensive queries running for a report which may put load on your AR system. So the idea behind this model is to have Smart Reporting request not block your main AR server. In this model of deployment, smart reporting communicates with secondary AR server. So benefit of this model here is your primary AR server remains unaffected. Now in the next example, let's understand it with the help of diagram. As you see in the diagram, it has two parts. One is AR setup and other is smart reporting setup. AR setup has two AR server. One is primary AR server and other is secondary AR server. The secondary AR server may not be part of server group as it will have a separate DB which is replica of your primary database. Also database replica has been set up and which is in read only mode. To keep both the database is in sync transactional replication has been set up so that any data changes happens on primary AR server will automatically get synced to secondary AR server. Later, secondary AR server is updated so that it will point to replicated database. Now, let's move to second part which is smart reporting setup where we have smart reporting server and its own database repository which contains reports and dashboards. In this deployment model, smart reporting server directly communicates with the secondary AR server through AR APIs and fetches the data from replicated database. Hence, it minimizes the impact on primary AR server. Here, smart reporting post-installation activity like onboarding content import has been done with primary AR server details. Hence, admin needs to update those details to change it to secondary AR server. In the next example, I will show you how to change the data source details to update it to secondary AR server. Log on to Remedy with administrator user and open smart reporting application. Now, to update the data source detail from your primary server to secondary server, navigate to administration, admin console, open data sources, click on AR system and update the connection host detail from primary server detail to secondary AR details. Give the AR user host administrator name, password, test the connection and save. With this, you will be able to modify your source connection from primary AR server to secondary AR server and smart reporting server will communicate to secondary AR server and fetches the data from replicated database. I hope this video helps you understand the smart reporting deployment where data is fetched from the replicated database. Thank you for watching this video.